الخير وانا لا امنع أي نعم لا امنع بارك الله فيكم ان يذهب الشخص ويستفيد والحمد لله والله المستعان لكن اخشى واخشى واخشى اي نعم ان يسيل لعابه الى الفلوس الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على النبي الكريم بعد to proceed I wanted to quickly share a clarification concerning a misconception about an advice that was shared by Imam Al-Wadi'i rahmatullahi alayhi concerning his experience of the University of Medina and also his opinion of him giving preference to studying in the circles of the Masajid over studying in Islamic universities. So there is a misconception out there. Uh, the misconception is that this Imam warns from studying from Islamic uh, universities, which is not correct. Uh, this great scholar, his words have been misunderstood and misrepresented. And from those who spread such an allegation against him was uh, the person known as uh, Sheikh Faleh Harbi. Faleh Harbi, he, this individual, from his words is that a Sheikh Mubi Rahimahullah considers studying in the University of Medina to be haram. And the Sheikh, uh, when he was asked this question on his website, he said that's a lie. Sheikh Mubi Rahimahullah himself mentioned that this is not true. It's just that the Sheikh has a different approach and prefers the classical way of studying than the more modern approach. And he sees that there has more barakah. And there's a group of mashayikh and scholars that agree with him in this affair. So when you read what has been mentioned by Fali Harbi, his specific words, he says, Sheikh Mubil yuharrim ala tullabihi دخول الجامعة الإسلامية Sheikh Mubil makes it haram upon his students to be enrolled into the University of Medina. And Sheikh Iha bin Ali al-Hajuri responded to Fali Harbi in an article saying ما زال الشيخ رحمه الله يزكي إلى الجامعة الإسلامية من أراد الدراسة فيها ممن يعرفهم فزكى إليها عددا كبيرا وطلبة العلم يعرفون ذلك بما لا يستطاع إنكاره ولم يتوقف الشيخ عن التزكية إليها إلا قبل موتي بسنين قريبة حين أخبره بعض الناس بأن الجامعة الآن دخلها الخلط وليس على ما كانت عليه قبل من التميز So the Sheikh responds to this accusation of Ali Harbi Sheikh Yahya ibn Ali Hajuri responds by saying that Sheikh Mubi Rahimahullah was known to give tazkiyas to four students to be enrolled to the University of Medina. And many of those who are, know of this, and they do not deny this. And he mentions that the Sheikh just stopped giving tazkiyah before his death a number of years, before his death, after some have informed him that the jamia has been uh, contaminated or has been uh, affected in its clarity and is not upon what it was before of tamayyuz, of being distinct, and it's what is known for of salafiya. And this was a letter that he received, Shaykh Muhammad Rahimullah, before his death uh, by, from Sheikh Muhammad bin Hadi, who was a professor and also someone that was uh, from the University of Medina for a number of years. He 
said that al-jami' al-islamiyya laysat bi'aydi salafiyyin it's not in the hands of the salafis anymore so Sheikh Nudu rahimahullah he would give preference initially to studying in the circles of the masajid and he would perhaps advise only a few individuals or certain individuals to be enrolled to the universities and not all he would give them a different approach so this was what he's mentioned So when he was asked about University of Medina, he advised not to rely upon it and to busy a person's self with seeking beneficial knowledge. And he mentioned in it, for example, where he was residing of the Maj, their classes was better than University of Medina. And we even know that there comes even a letter that during that time where someone asked Sheikh Min Baz, I want to leave Yemen to come to study with you. And Sheikh, Mo, Sheikh Bin Baz responded to this individual, and we translated this, advising him to go study with Sheikh Mubin Rahimullah in his marquis. So, with there being mentioned uh, the stance of Sheikh Mubin Rahimullah, that he's doing it from an angle of preference, and also mentioning which has more barakah. Because he himself mentioned And he said, let it not be yani, the affair in relation to seeking knowledge Like has been said in words of poetry O oh, word, the best of words in relation to the Quran and Sunnah being studied They have placed you in chains and restricted you in a certain atmosphere and meaning that it's been placed in other than its proper positioning. <laughs> mentioning that the teacher is not known for sincerity, and meaning that a lot of these teachers, it has been affected, their affair of just becoming regular uh, teachers, and we've seen this, uh, we've heard, and also people who have went there, that some of the teachers that are in these universities are not really known for practicing. Some of them smoke. Some of them do various of other things. Uh, some of them shave their beards. Uh, this is not to say the person is totally not have sincerity, but it's just you know, generally a sign of certain individuals, what's apparent from them. And he mentioned also that the student you find that even they lack seriousness in such an atmosphere and this is known whoever went there he says you find that someone may over there as a result of these universities be there chasing for graduate certificates and someone is there just to get uh, certain Expert, uh, qualification so he can earn an income by way of this is uh, not everyone but these are some of the intentions that affect uh, such an atmosphere and also it's been said one of the righteous ones said and this is a profound statement being passed around that we used to seek knowledge in the masajid. Then the schools were open. Then the barakah went away. Meaning it started to lack barakah. For really, no one would dispute to say that the way how the Salaf al Salih and the scholars passed were seeking knowledge in the masajid uh, is less barakah. Uh, than how it is now and the way it's set up in these universities. It, we know it's greater in the masajid and it's been attested by many scholars. 
And he says, وَوُضِعَتِ الْكَرَاسِي فَذَهَبَ التَّوَاضِعِ When the chairs were raised, people were sitting in chairs, many of the times uh, humility goes away. In the origin is to sit on the ground. وَوُضِعَتِ الشَّهَادَاتِ فَذَهَبَ الْإِخْلَاسِ And certificates were placed, and a lot of the times it affected people's ikhlas. And this was the stance of Shaykh Mubi Rahimahullah. He says, يَتَهَافَتُونَ عَلَى الشَّهَادَاتِ كَمَا يَتَهَافَتْ الذباب على الخميرة that they chase after graduate certificates as a fly rushes over الخميرة the yeast the yeast dough and this is mentioned in the book Taj al page 201 I'll share some words of Sheikh Rabi retired uh, professor who taught in the University of Medina for a number of years where he mentions some testimony of his He mentions that he was from the foremost of the people that were there and taught for a number of years. So he mentioned that he continued upon that until he retired. And so he said the curriculum, it's a Salafi upon the Book of Allah and the Sunnah, curriculum upon what is known. But he says it's a fair. So he mentions that it's a fair, it was that cultivating upon that, the Salafi curriculum. He said, except that it was infiltrated by a group of people of innovations that went, went within and used the word as if they sneaked in. So they cause corruption to people there in the University of Medina. So he makes dua that Allah grants success the people in charge uh, to removes these individuals that are infiltrating to cause corruption to the students in the university. <laughs> so he says, I encourage to be a person to enroll himself into the University of Medina. However, I warn from these people, these hisbis, the people of innovations that are infiltrated therein. So these individuals that are there, they are receiving the, the newcomers, the new students that are being enrolled and once they arrive, uh, they warn them uh, from great scholars in that land and some of their methodology. And this is known that they share uh, people have went to have, once they arrive, they're received by some of these individuals to the University of Medina, and right away uh, doubts has been spread. And this is unfortunate. And we'll go and listen to what the words of Sheikh Rabir attesting to this. So they will try to corrupt who they can, and there will be some that will be safe from them. So he says, I advise with studying therein, however, I warn from those who are causing corruption on in, in the land in these uh, lands 
who are causing this havoc and mischief by corrupting the people. So it's upon those who are newcomers are coming from Ethiopia and different places abroad to be cautious of these individuals. Uh, for verily they come to corrupt for what from what the actual university was established upon. So he mentions that these people who are there have corrupted many. He says that we've seen people have come with corrupted beliefs from their lands, study the curriculum in the university, and end up returning uh, back to their lands with corrupted beliefs. He said this is something well known. Uh, it's uh, something that cannot be denied. And this is just generally of words that we know that in Mecca and Medina, after a long passing period of time, different types of people have went in there, particularly the University of Medina, also from the people that were there and were attested to this, or Shahid al-Shahid ibn Ahliya, someone who was there, as Sheikh Muhammad ibn Hadi, he said in an audio of his, is everyone in the University of Medina Salafi? It contains Khalafiyin, the people who oppose the manhaj of the Salaf from amongst the people of desires and innovators of all types. I do not say this only now, but I've said it before. How many Khalafiyin are there? All the sects of the people of desires are there in it. So it was, it changed uh, from how it was in the times of Ibn Baz. And for this reason, Sheikh Abdul Musin Abad, when he was commenting about a journalist article where it says that the new university's life is better and more specialized than in how it began, he says in reality the Jamia is in a period of weakness and oldness, which it deserves consolidation for. He said, I lived with this university and my youth was its youth and my old age. I reached its old age and weakness. And to Allah belong all affairs. It saddens and pains me greatly to see the university that was founded upon piety from the first day and its founders being Sheikh Muhammad ibn Ibrahim and Sheikh Abdul Aziz ibn Baz. May Allah have mercy upon them both that its affair, the Jamia, after half a century after his establishment, have come to be blown by the wind, bursting forth as hurricanes, and has become an amusement place for Westerners, journalists, and even for journalist women who were not found there years ago. And even there's an article by Sheikh Abdul Sa'bad speaking about the principal, the mudir, that was chosen to be the mudir uh, for the University of Medina. Uh, the brothers can return back to that. And we know that the words of Sheikh Muhammad Abdul Wahab al-Banna, rahimahullah, that great scholar, he says, Wallahi, I do not know what to say. Wallahi, meaning now the best place to learn Salafiyya upon his reality with knowledge and action. When he's speaking about Dammaj, like Maraqiz Almiya, he says, Dammaj, Wallahi. And then he says, now the Ikhwan al-Muflisin have entered Mecca and corrupted it. And this is a body of his. So we know that uh, some of these places has been infiltrated by the Ikhwan al-Muflisin, they've got positioning, and as a result, they affect some of the newcomers that come uh, to study, and they get polluted by some of these individuals. 
and we'll share later on some examples of some of the wordings of professors that teach in these universities. And we will share some words of Sheikh Mubi Rahimahullah where he mentions how some of the students of university there are when they come back from the Jamia Islamia. So Sheikh Mubi Rahim Allah mentions and his advice to the students of the University of Medina about how many when when they when they go back to their lands they easily get affected and become weak. So this is something that he's mentioning that he sees. And also he mentions Sheikh Mubi Rahim Allah. Sheikh Mubin mentions also that he noticed when many of them come back to their lands is that they become like the general lay folk. You would not assume that this person studied in the University of Medina before. And this is so true. We've seen many who was perhaps so zealous uh, or perhaps really firm or had a beard and then they come back, you find that they're slowly affected. And this is uh, many and high numbers, not to say all, uh, but we've just seen this. So this is from one of the reasons why Shaykh Mubi Rahimullah may have gave preference to study in the Marrakesh. And this uh, doesn't mean that studying there is haram or it's not advised for anyone to study there. And even uh, before, what was known from uh, Shaykh Rabia, who's also, as we mentioned, someone that was in Medina University for a long time, attesting to it. He says, إِنَّ الْجَامِعَ الْإِسْلَامِيَةَ تَحْتَوِي مُدَرِّسِينَ حِزْبِيِّينَ لَكِنَ الْمَنَاهِجْ سَلَفِيَّةَ He says that it consists of Hizbi teachers, but the curriculum is Salafi. So he says, advise, he advised with studying there, he says, خُذُوا الْمَنَاهِجْ وَحْذَرُوا الْحِزْبِيِّينَ Take the curriculum and be cautious from the Hizbis there. So, no shot of doubt that this is a reality, even when Sheikh Sa'id al-Shitri, on his visit to the University of Medina, in the hall, Sheikh Salih Suhaimi, after thanking Sheikh Sa'id al-Shitri for his talk, he added that if he could uh, warn, uh, bring, uh, warn the students that they need to be cautious of people who wish to hinder them from the correct way and the correct path. So this is known that there are some who are of this state and we'll play some examples of different professors and this is not only for University of Medina but different universities where wordings of this sort of complaints of some of the professors. <laughs> فهذا القول صحيح هذا قول باطل علم الكلام من نشأته وهو باطل لأنهم استعملوه بدلا من كلام الله وكلام رسوله وهو علم منطق اليونان هو مجلوب من اليونان مجلوب من اليونان إلى بلاد المسلمين فهذا الكلام باطل وهذا كلام إنسان ما يدري ولا يعرف منين له التفصيل هذا منين جاء بهذا التفصيل نعم so here the Sheikh was asked about a statement of a professor in one of the Islamic universities in Saudi where he was saying that Ilmul Kalam, at the beginning of it, it was praiseworthy, that it was 
uh, the theology of rhetoric and that affair, it of logic, it was praiseworthy. So Sheikh Pogzan mentioned that this is a great error, this is wrong. Also another example, what was uh, presented of a complaint about one of the professors teaching in one of the Islamic universities in Saudi. درجات النشاط من أراد أن يحصل عليها فليذهب إلى مغسلة الأموات وليقم بتغسيل عدد من الأموات ليحصل على هذه الدرجات سؤالي يقول هل يجوز أخذ الأجرة والدرجات على تغسيل الميت وعلى أعمال القرب هذا ذكره لمدير الجامعة يشوف معه يشوف معه تصرف نعم ما ما هكذا يكون المدرس يفرض على الطلاب يروحون يغسلون الجنائز نعم So here's another example of a complaint and even the Fawzan after hearing the complaint says that this person should be raised to the principal to see his affair this is not how a teacher should teach also another example of another complaint of a, another professor who was teaching in one of the Islamic universities in Saudi <laughs> So he mentioned that there's a professor teaching the beginners and a faculty, Kulliya, to learn what has occurred, transpired between Ali and Muawiyah. Because we live in a time of fitna, so Sheikh Fawzan said this increases the fitna. So he mentions that this type of person, professor, is actually uh, deceiving uh, the students, and his affair is deserving to be removed from teaching. And also, we find many other examples of these complaints where it is not once or twice, but there's other affairs that show this. <laughs> فهل كلامه هذا صحيح؟ ما هو بصحيح على إطلاقه مسائل الخلاف الذي تبين الدليل مع أحد القولين أو أحد الأقوال ينكر على من أخذ بخلاف الدليل أما المسائل الاجتهادية التي لم يتبين الدليل مع المختلفين فلا ينكر فيها لأنه لا ي... لم يتبين رجحان قول على قول بالدليل so here, Sheikh Fawzan is asked about a professor, but from one of the other Islamic countries, who says that it is not permissible or not allowed to criticize in matters of khilaf, teaching this to students. So the Sheikh corrects this and says, this is not absolute. Uh, so we find other examples, of even outside of Saudi Arabia, of universities, and Sheikh Muhammad Aman al Jami, Rahimahullah, he mentioned long ago about some of the universities outside uh, that some of them they teach Ash'ariya, they teach Ash'ari creed. And this is prevalent in a lot of universities outside. And we've translated his fatwa, the brothers can return back to that. Also, another example is where uh, Sheikh Rabia was asked in another article about sending students to the University of Medina. That he says, "Tursiluhum walakin makinuhum bi sunna awalan, thumma arusiluhum ida arat." Send them, but first establish them upon the sunna, then send them if you wish. So this is to show that 
sending every person or encouraging every person is not perhaps on the list of these mushayikh to go to these universities like that because of the atmosphere. The atmosphere and how many people have got affected. So uh, caution is required. Caution is required. So I'll read here the exact fatwa of Sheikh Muhammad Imam Jami that I translated about many of the universities in the Muslim lands. He says, many of the universities in the Muslim lands teach the belief of the Ash'aris. While they say they are Ahl Sunnah, or at least from Ahl Sunnah. Rather, we say that they are from not from Ahl Sunnah. So this is taken from a Sharh of Tadmuriya, tape 4, side B. So this is from the angle of caution. That is one angle. Also from the angle of some scholars will give preference to the masajids and learning there instead of the, some of the setups of universities because that's the origin and the more baraka. I'll read you some words of Sheikh Salih Fouzan where he's commenting on the hadith, no people gather together in one of the houses of Allah reciting the book of Allah and studying it among themselves except that tranquility descends upon them and mercy uh, opens up for them and that angels encircles them. He said in this hadith is that Talabul Ilm, the act of seeking knowledge, should be performed in the masajid, due to it being the houses of Allah and the abode of the angels. And therein is tranquility and mercy. So it's appropriate that Talabul Ilm is performed in the masajid, not at campuses, nor at lounges and etc. of faculties. There is no problem in having it at a faculty for studies or having a school where Ilm is taught there. But however, the masjid is better. So with no shadow of doubt, Sheikh Fawzan sees that the masjid, studying at the masjid is better. So whatever it takes in establishing talab ilm in the masjid, then that is better. If there is a faculty for studies that is organized, there is nothing wrong with studying there. But however, it has less virtues than the masjid. It's taken from Sharh al-Ba'in, page 221. So we must look at that you see people that went to some of these universities, they, perhaps some of them have not been so uh, not been so zealous as they were before. And this is perhaps of lacking the atmosphere of lacking baraka and also some of the entertainment that surrounds and distractions that surround some of these universities and that's attached uh, some of these universities they have so much entertainment uh, and distractions that students who go there, they get caught up with entertainment and some of the distractions where they lose their seriousness. They lose their seriousness, and this is known from a number of people. Also, another example of Sheikh Fawzan correcting a professor from the University of Medina. Uh, is an article is, where he says to the Asatitha, لا تشغلوا الطلاب بالسياسة والربيع العربي. Do not busy the students with politics and about the Arab Spring. As this was occurring, not to engage in those discussions. طيب also another thing that going back to Sheikh Mubin Rahimullah, why he's he's giving preference because he was he had his own experience. We'll play here an audio. So here, Sheikh Mubin mentions that in the University of Medina, it was prescribed onto the students to learn English for four years. So this is uh, from his experience. Also from the angle of real seeking of knowledge begins after the graduations of these universities. And this is mentioned by Sheikh Abdul Musa and also Sheikh Fawzan, that the real a person can, should consider himself just a beginner after coming out of these universities. Says, uh, Sheikh, Fawzan, uh, Sheikh Abdul Musa Abbas says, it's upon the student of Islamic knowledge to consider himself a beginner in seeking knowledge after graduating. So uh, even as some of them have said, if you want to uh, go eat uh, Dajjad chicken, then go to the University of Medina. And if you want to go seek knowledge, then go to this Marquez. 
wordings of that sort. And some have said that three years in a market is equivalent to one year in the university. So this is from all from the angle of preference and what is better. So when you look at the stats of students who have returned from these university, you find that when you look at the number of the, um, the students that have come back, some of them have come back, uh, as Sheikh Mohammed mentioned, like regular lay folks, some have come back water dean and their dean. So this is just to advise what is best and what's more preferable. So we shouldn't misunderstand that Sheikh Mubil is warning from the Islamic universities and studying to take a vague fatwa of a scholar, for example, Sheikh Saleh Fawzan, and place it on the advice of Sheikh Mubil, rahimahullah, because it has been clarified, that's some misrepresentation to say that this general fatwa is applying to Sheikh Mubil's words or to those who take the stance of Sheikh Mubil, rahimahullah. That's not correct. And also, uh, we find that Sheikh Saleh Fawzan, uh, in some of his words, he, can ask, he encourages to combine between both. And in some of his words, he gives preference to the misajid. So your person, if he's just, he's going to look to out of all of his wordings and see what he actually mean, and also how these questions are launched and brought forward to these mashayikh see the question and then actually understand what Sheikh Mubin Rahim Allah is referring to and you will see that is actually beneficial of words of advice and the one that wants to go to uh, these universities is up to him no one is warning him another thing too is that you find that some of the students they come back after four or five years and they were told that prior that it's better if to go to the University of Medina than staying in the land of Kufr. When they end up coming back after four or five years, they're back to square one. Uh, so that intention it shouldn't be there. It should be more so just for them to seek knowledge. But to say it's better than al Kufr, they're going to be coming back to the land of Kufr most likely. And we've seen many of them come back and then just end up residing here and staying here. So a better advice for people to stay seeking long knowledge for long term is to make a goal uh, to move to these Muslim lands. Uh, there's various ways of doing that. There's alhamdulillah, a group of our students. Uh, many of them try to move to Saudi. Many of them move to Egypt. And then some of them move to the Emirates, study with the Shaykh there. Some of them move to Somalia, study with the Mashaykh there. Some of them study uh, move to Kuwait from our students. And alhamdulillah, we've seen success with them, long-term benefiting. So this is incumbent that a person doesn't just limit it to four or five years and then after graduating and then just coming back to his uh, homeland and just remaining online on YouTube. This is not the advice what uh, these scholars are referring to. So this is what's happening and a lot of people have this misunderstanding. So this is uh, just a little short clarification we wanted to highlight. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to benefit us of what we heard. And another thing too that people assume that being just over there in Medina or Mecca is that it's going to make you virtuous or somewhat of just sending someone over there. It's, as the proverb says, you know, sending a mule to Mecca will not make it come back as a pilgrim. As they say, in the Ard al Muqaddisa la tuqaddis al insan. That a righteous land does not make a person righteous or virtuous. As Shaykh Abdul Muslim Abbad says, not upon the one living in Medina, not to be deceived in himself, thinking that he becomes virtuous by him living in Medina. He says, I'm upon khair. For indeed, just living in Medina and without performing righteous good deeds and being upright upon the obedience of Allah and His Messenger, and avoiding falling into sins will not benefit him, rather it will harm him. And we find that some of them assume that when they go to these universities, they're able to combine between seeking knowledge in the masajids and also uh, studies of their Islamic university. And many of the times it's not easy for a lot of the students to do so. They find it complicated, uh, it's very tough. So people have been given a wrong image 
of how it's going to be. And then when they go over there, they, they don't find as expect, and it affects them. So the brothers who are um, putting out this and portraying that Sheikh Mubin Rahimullah uh, was warning, or those who have taken the stance as warning, that's not correct. We're just being transparent and putting uh, what is a clear picture for the people. And whoever wishes to make his decision after that, then that's up to him. But we're just sharing what is more preferable and what's best as a long-term goal to go to the Muslim land and seek knowledge under the great scholars uh, in Saudi and Kuwait and uh, various of lands in Egypt to benefit from the scholars and also in Yemen. Barakallahu feek wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.